In this screencast, I want to show you how to download ebooks onto your laptop or desktop computer if it has Windows. Uh, the first place we're going to start is uh, the help section, which is right here on the right hand side. And what you're going to do is click there and it's going to tell you what you need to download in order to get started. I'll click where it says Overdrive Help and it'll bring you to the next window. The Overdrive Help page has some great resources. Today we're going to look at the Windows section and we're going to click here and walk through the steps that you're going to need to take in order to be able to read books from Overdrive on your computer. This tells us what we need to do if we were getting started with a Windows computer. Uh, what we want to do is install software called Adobe Digital Editions, and there's a link right here on this web page for you to do that. And if you look down here, you will see where it says Adobe Digital Editions. You want to download that, so click there. Now we're on the Adobe Digital Editions web page where we can download Adobe Digital Editions to your desktop. So what we want to do is click right here where it says download now and what we'll do is it'll download to your computer and we're going to go through the steps right now on how to get that set up. The next window you're going to see is this installation window. You're going to need to click on agree. Next is the setup assistant. We're going to click on continue. Now this is where you need an account. Now if you already have an Adobe ID, you can fill it in here with your ID and password here. If you don't have an Adobe ID, it's fairly easy to get. All you do is you click up here to get an Adobe ID online and we're going to go through that process right now. Here you'll see uh, new to Adobe, create an Adobe account. You're going to click here and then fill in the information. Now there are starred items here. You only need to fill in what has stars next to it. So you're going to fill it in this, um, this form and at the bottom there's a button that says continue. And you'll go on to the next page and you'll continue again and then you'll have an account that easy. You'll go back to this window and now that you have an Adobe ID and a password you can activate. So after you type those in the bottom you'll see activate and you click on that and then your account opens. Now you're ready to check out a book. So what you'll need to do is browse and find a book that you'd like to check out. Once you find a book that you want to check out, you are going to choose the correct format. In this case, it's the Adobe EPUB format. So that's right here in the middle here. So I'm going to make sure that I click on Add to Cart. In this screen, you'll see uh, that it has a title. It has a lending period, which we can change and we're going to want to do is we're going to want to proceed to check out. Right now we can change the lending period at the top. It says 14 days right now. I'm going to leave it there, but we could check out, check out the book for 21 days if we, if we wanted to. Um, when we've made that decision, you can go ahead and confirm checkout. And now your book is ready to download. You're going to need to click on the download button. And you're going to, in this window, you want to choose open, and this will open this book in your Adobe Editions account. And this is what the book looks like inside your Adobe Editions account. Now, in the top corner, you'll see there's something that looks like a bookshelf right up here. That brings you back to this window. In this, in this window, you can see the books that you've taken out. Um, Right now, I have Twisted Up, which is the cookbook that I took out. And there's another title here that is, has expired. But if you click on the title, I clicked it on Twisted Up, you'll see a little arrow that comes up next to the title. You have some choices here. You can open the book if it's not already open. You can delete it. Um, or you can return a borrowed item. This is where you're going to return your book early if you finished it before the lending period. Now, if you don't finish it before the lending period, remember that the book is taken out of your account for you. You don't even need to worry about that. But if you do finish it early and you would like to return it early, you can go ahead and click on Return Borrowed Item, and it'll be out of your account and back in the catalog.